Hey there, colleague. How are you doing? This Monday, I want to give you a brief thought about what we're trying to do when we cultivate the five key beliefs in our little classroom on this little lesson today with this with this little plan that we have. What are we after? What's what's the big vision that we're after? And I think that this in just a couple of minutes, I can help you to kind of realize that what you're doing really, really matters. What I'm doing in my classroom really matters even beyond my room. Okay, so take a look here. These are some of the points about how the five key beliefs work. Credibility, value, effort, so on. These things are, for example, influenced by how students experience reality. So it's not just I'm talking them into feeling that they can succeed at something. Efficacy. I'm talking them into identifying with, let's say, doing a reading assignment, belonging. It's also I'm creating the conditions in my lesson where, yeah, of course, we're going to read this lesson. We're going to do this mile run. We're going to try it at our current ability level in phys ed. And over time, as we study the five key beliefs, we start to create learning environments where the beliefs are caught. They're caught even more really than, than they're taught. I'm not teaching my students to believe that the work of history study is valuable. I'm more sending a million signals out explicitly, implicitly. And over time, they're catching this sense that, wow, there's a lot to, that's valuable about studying history. Okay, but one other important point, look at this. They're influenced by context. They're influenced by context, which means let's just look at a sample school. In this sample school, we've got a couple of classrooms in the school where the context is supportive of five key beliefs. It's cultivating five key beliefs. And in those settings, if you walk into those settings and watch a lesson take place, you're going to see just a lot of signals that the teacher planned, that the teacher has habituated that the students are starting to send to each other. The teacher's good at their job. The work of learning is valuable. The students can get better through applying wise effort. The students can succeed. The students can identify with the work of the class. You're gonna see five key beliefs signals. But what's cool is that when a student experiences a five key beliefs rich environment, then they walk down the hallway to another classroom. And if that other classroom is also a five key beliefs rich environment, now all of a sudden, it's, it's like the, the inner snowball in their heart. The, 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 there's a snowball started in their heart and there's starting to be this growing sense of just resilient motivation. And so when all of us across a whole school work in just small little ways, small little ways, right? Tracking moments of the new sending signal about value, teaching students how to take notes for learning, et cetera, et cetera. Small little ways, send signals about value. When we do that all across the school day, Watch out. It's going to be great. And all of a sudden, all of us don't have to work as hard to have a student body that's highly motivated because all of our contexts are playing off one another and supporting one another. So there starts to be this really, really exciting and advantageous and relatively low effort chain reaction all across the school. That's what we're going for. That's what your work is doing today when you work on cultivating the five key beliefs just in a small, small way. That work is not wasted. Something that I want you to think about. Take care.